What is up guys, this is JG Andrew of the Droid Syndicate team and today I'm going to be showing you CM10 Cyanogen Mod 10 on our Sprint Galaxy S3. Now yesterday I actually did do a how to install video on this and that one still actually works so you can still install it the same way. I will have a link in the description but remember this is just a pre-release so there's still going to be bugs even after the update. Now what the update did is actually pretty big. Uh, it pretty much gave you super users, so you now have the ability to have root access. You now have more Cyanogen Mod features added, so you have lots of new features from Cyanogen Mod team. And you'll also have the no more audio death after a call. So the audio isn't pretty much going to shut off after a phone call. And yeah, that's pretty much all the bugs. Alright, so with this being a Jelly Bean based ROM, Hop into settings, you can see in about phone we actually have Android version 4.1.1 and of course this is CyanogenMod's version so it's going to have the CyanogenMod kernel along with different build numbers and statuses. So it is going to come with some CM stuff in the about phone if you guys wanted to know. So if we go to status, um, that doesn't even really mean anything. <laughs> Let's actually go to interface. Now, in interface, these are pretty much all the all the Cyanogen mod tweaks. For now, I'm just going to call Cyanogen mod CM. So, if I say CM, that's what I'm talking about. So, with CM, uh, you pretty much get some tweaks that they add in. So, it, it's going to be under interface. They'll eventually add some more in. But since this is just a pre-release, they haven't even got started on it. Now, the only thing they have working is lock screen with the tweak. If you click on system, settings is just going to force close and you have to go back in. But yeah, if we go to lock screen, you can see that you have different screen security. So you can have all these different options with your screen security, such as none, slide, face unlock, pattern, pin, and password. And you can also delay the screen lock. So if you don't really want it to go off at a certain time, you can set a timeout time. And you can also have menu unlock and quick unlock. Now, if you get out of that, you can choose different uh, wallpapers in the lock screen too so if you don't want to have the same wallpaper then you can always change that and you can also change owner info so this is going to appear on the lock screen so if you want to say hello then get out of that and then go back to the lock screen then it says hello right there and th that's a pretty cool feature if you just want to have some info like let's say you want it to say so-and-so your phone or something so maybe if you have the same phone as your dad you could put that on lock screen so that he'll know you also have weather so you can display weather actually on the lock screen so right here you can see that we have the weather right there but it isn't celsius and i don't know how to get it out of celsius i've tried to uncheck metric that doesn't really seem to do anything i've really tried everything and it doesn't really disable it to make it fahrenheit if you go into calendar you can also display your other events, you can have descriptions and even a location to show that event and yeah. So this is pretty much what CM10 has to offer add-on wise. But other than that, just the whole Jelly Bean experience uh, is really nice actually on this phone. Now they're still working on Project Butter, the developers are, but I'd say they really don't need to work on it. Making it any better may <laughs> blow up the phone. It's actually pretty smooth already. Now you guys might be wondering, camera, the camera is still uh, not really working. Now I did notice after the, your very first boot up, you actually can take pictures. But after that, like if you exit out of the camera, then it just won't connect. So that is unfortunate there. But yeah, you also do have super user. So you'll have super user, you'll be able to get root access, and yeah, that's really all I have to show in CMT and Jelly Bean wise. And yeah, let's actually try a voice search, see if this works. Where am I? Yep, works pretty fast, so that's pretty good. Who is the President of the United States? That's classic, everyone asks that. And I am disappointed by her statement. I'm a Republican, so, you know, not that much of an Obama fan. But this is Android politics, not presidential politics. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. 
that is pretty much CM10 pre-release on the Galaxy S3 on Sprint. Make sure, gotta add Sprint in there. But it is actually on the other US versions. I'm pretty sure it's actually on all the versions. So I don't really know for sure, but sort of just an estimated guess. But yeah, guys, I really want to give a big formal thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my viewers, everyone who is supporting me on this YouTube thing. You guys have brought me so far on YouTube, and I hope more people continue to do so because I really want to make this into something big. I want to do this. I like making videos for you guys. I'm committed to making videos. I'm dedicated. I try to respond. I try to help you guys. And yeah, I just like making videos in general. So... Hopefully I can carry this on with maybe a partnership, maybe I could get, start getting back from what I've given, and yeah, that would help me a lot. Bye right, guys, thanks for watching, thank you all my subscribers, thank you all my viewers, thank you everyone who supported me, some big people who supported me, other phone people, they're in my other channels on my channel, if you haven't um, seen that. And I actually did update my About Me section on YouTube, so you can see all my old phones, my future phone, my current phone, my daily phone, and other stuff. And also, if you're wondering what I record and edit with, I record with a Canon T2i with the stock lens, and I have this really nice four high-power LED light that's making the light right now. It's better than this lamp up here that... I was using before I gave out sort of like an orange filter and I also edit with Power Director 9 so that's like two years old but it still gets the job done sometimes I'll edit with Adobe Premiere Elements 10 but that one it sort of downgrades the quality Power Director does a lot better job at rendering it into a small format while keeping the quality so yeah guys I'll also add that into my about me section and yeah there's really nothing else to say I will talk to you all later